So, Konstantinos, um, again, great to have you at the uh, Security Bootcamp. Uh, one topic which we read also in the Dutch newspapers is that these uh, <coughs> IT billionaires like Elon Musk of Tesla, Bill Gates of Microsoft, is buying smaller artificial intelligence uh, startups because they are scared that it will be in the hands of someone that will not use it in the right way. Um, what is the res relationship with artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and is that correct, or what, what is your opinion? Uh, well, there's a few things here. Um, one, quantum computing could possibly boost artificial intelligence uh, mm -hmm. quite quickly. Uh, but let's say Watson, uh, the machine that, that beat the Jeopardy contestants. Mm -hmm. uh, it used a form of very quickly being able to parse data, about 500 gigabytes per second, which is a lot. That's like reading everything ever written instantly. Um, with quantum computing and something like Grover's algorithm, mm -hmm. it'll be able to search in pretty much a square root of the time that it searches now. So that's even faster. So artificial intelligence will be able to access the information that much quicker. Mm -hmm. um, what's really interesting about the way we're moving with artificial intelligence now is, you ever hear the concept of neural networks? Yes. So, so these things are, are able to reinforce what they find to be correct and kind of discard what isn't. I mean, that's just a hopelessly simplify something that's really complex. But it just makes you wonder how far it's going to go. But, but sorry to interrupt you, and I, I'm, you're the expert, I'm not, but 20 years ago already on the, uh, uh, I would say, the Bachelor of Science uh, I got, and also on the IT, I, I talked about, uh, we, we got neural networks, you know, as a student. And oh, it was yeah. all very nice, very good, good books, but I, I, I didn't see anything of it. Or is there a lot? I, I don't know. Yeah, um, you were talking about purchases yes. by, by billionaires. Uh, I think the most interesting purchase as far as advancing artificial intelligence was uh, Google's purchase of DeepMind. So that, I think that was like $400 million purchase, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, and. That company has been showing with their software that neural networks are pretty much here. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, neural networks, I think, were first invented in the 40s. The concept was from that, that yeah. long ago. It's quite yeah. a while. Uh, and with the reinforced learning, for example, they, they had their machines sit there and learn how to beat Atari games. Mm -hmm. And what was brilliant about that wasn't that it was able to beat a game written in the 80s, but that it was able to do it with so little information. Just basically the light from the screen and knowledge that a high score is better than a low one. I mean, again, to simplify a very complex thing. So it's quite real. Yeah, it was able to learn what to do. And imagine applying that to hacking. Imagine um, machines that use neural networks to go out there and detect what types of vulnerabilities they could silently observe in websites. Sites. Um, they'd be able to learn just how slowly to do it to avoid detection. They'd be able to learn how to do it to get the max amount of return. Um, it's not like scanners that just try everything and then someone has to sift the results. This would be able to do step one, see if it got there, go a little deeper, a little deeper, mm -hmm. just like a human would. So it, it's very possible that we'll see thinking, hacking machines like that in the near future. So being afraid of artificial tech, uh, intelligence, it's it's quite possibly a valid thing to be afraid of. Even Stephen Hawking's kind of uh, yeah. thinking that it might lead to some trouble. <laughs> okay, but then we, then we are still here with you as an expert, as, as a company, we will figure something out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. good for having you.